Our project is work process improvement and scheduling policy optimization, and our client is FedEx Supply Chain. Here's our team. Consumer Cellular is a virtual network operator looking to outsource to our client FedEx Supply Chain. FedEx Supply Chain gave us the task to optimize their activating and bundling process. Currently, Consumer Cellular receives large orders that need to be met in a short amount of time. To do so, they operate a push system where they complete a lot of the work prior to the when the orders are received. This results in high inventory levels. We decided to break up our project into two sub-projects. The first is to improve the productivity rate for this activating and bundling process. And the second focuses on changing that push system to a pull system. So our first sub-project is improving the productivity rate. This was the initial ask of our client and we used motion study methods to do that. So here's an example of one of the recommendations. Most of the time that the workers are involved or are handling this plastic case is just to wipe it down. So our recommendation is to grab it by a tab instead uh, to avoid all that handling, um, and they can save about $27,000. So in total, adopting all seven of our recommendations, we can improve productivity rate by 10% and save about $100,000 over the next three years. In order to do this, we have also made standard operating procedures so that when they train workers at the new facility, they can get them on board quickly. Our second sub-project is getting closer to a pull system. So the challenges with this are that orders are large and need to be satisfied quickly and often have many different types of phones in them. One of the challenges you can see here is that the demand week to week is very variable. Uh, so some things that we looked at were the number of workers, the inventory cap, which phones it's okay to prepare ahead of time, as well as some other overtime and flex worker policies. So our best policy was having both flex workers and overtime to be able to react to the orders. Um, so you can he see here there's clearly a trade-off between labor costs and percent of orders on time. The more flex workers they have, the lower the labor costs, so our recommendations would be to have as many workers as possible. Um, if we had absolutely perfect information, we would recommend that lowest cost uh, policy that exceeds FedEx's requirements of 99.5% on time. However, since we have imperfect information, we're recommending that general family of policies in that area. So th that is that have flex workers, um, you need two to three weeks of finished inventory as a buffer and only produce higher volume films ahead of time. Overall, we used these IE courses for our project. Thank you.